Welcome. Here's another keynote time. And if you see the table, you see the presentation over there? We all know it's about elephants. The elephant, elephants, I don't know. Who of you has a clear idea what an elephant means in the context of this conference? Just a few? All right. So the history of this elephant is 17 years, yeah? So next year it can do the driver's license, I think. The history of the elephants, wow, this keynote, the idea to this keynote goes back to a conversation um, we had last year in a nice restaurant over there. And uh, I was talking to a guy who is caring for the elephant uh, since 17 years. And uh, I think uh, the story is a very interesting success story of an open source community marketing. So please welcome Damien Siggy, <laughs> the creator of the elephant and the maintainer of the elephant and now the presenter of the elephant keynote. Yeah, I, I, thank you. I'm, I'm still a bit nervous, you know. Uh, this, is, yeah, this is my first time at the DPC, at the conference here. Um, and also, I'm, I'm also an expecting father at the moment. I mean, not, not, I have two daughters, they're out of the house, but um, I'm expecting actually an elephant, uh, a new generation. This, this little guy, apparently there's like 900 of them uh, waiting for me in Hamburg at the moment, so I might actually get a call during the presentation. I'm sorry, I will have to take it and just make sure that uh, they, they are delivered correctly. But that's the life of, of a new father. Well, well, I, I do have 73 generations of elephants uh, behind my belt, but uh, still, still almost feels like a first time. It's like, it's a delivery, right? And I just love that in English, the same word applies for, you know, the pizza that is being delivered at home and, and getting a new baby. So here for elephants, it does, it does apply a lot. I mean, it's a delivery. And you have to know that in the PHP uh, world and everything about elephant, we do not talk about the mother. <laughs> they are they they fathers, which is my, my official title. We are trying to use fathers for mothers, but apparently it's not well. So uh, we, if, you, if you come up with a better word for mothers of elephants generations, we are happy with that. Um, where shall I start? I guess from the beginning. So, I guess elephant started like everything else um, 15 billion years ago. <laughs> because you have to consider that um, this one is the oldest elephant on, on Earth at the moment, and everything that the matter it has, it's made of, is of course coming from you know, things that have been gathered into a planet. So this is older than Earth itself. This is older than PHP itself. Of course, between the Big Bang and uh, nowadays, so 17 years in the life of the elephants, a few things happened, uh, in particular like invention of agriculture, the foundation of the German states, stuff, you know, simple. But um, 1995 was the invention of PHP, after, of course, the elephant. And uh, the community started growing. It was happening a little bit everywhere in the world, and also in France, uh, where I was living at that, mo at that time. And uh, in particular, in the French community, we had a designer who was actually not even a, a PHP programmer, but he was you know, hanging out with the other guys. That was the good technology of the time. And uh, since he was not you know, you know, very savvy with the, uh, with the computer, he decided to, <clears throat> to invent the elephant. The elephant, by the way. It's the elephant. It doesn't, it's a joke that doesn't work in German, because for some reason, you decided to replace the Greek origin of PH with an F. I will not rent on that. Um, but in, in French and English, at least, it works because we have LF, the PH in the elephant, and then we can add an extra P, and that makes elephant. That's the origin of the word itself. That's why we have an elephant and not an elephant. And I will scold any one of you who tried to say that. Uh, of course, uh, the next question is, what is an elephant? When people hear about that the first time, and they start wondering, is it pants made of elephant? which is probably illegal in many territories in the world? Or are there pants for the elephant? And of course, if you start down that uh, road, you have to ask yourself how the elephant would wear the pants. You know what? We can, we can actually solve that. Uh, let me see. Of course, the elephant could wear the pants one way, or it could run wear the, other, the elephant the other way. So maybe we can have a, a quick vote. Who's voting for this one? Okay, a third, 
this one, another third. Great guys, <laughs> we still don't know. But anyway, the origin is, of course, um, is of course this one. Uh, the logo started uh, as a very boring logo because we're all programmers. It was invented in Canada by Colin V. Brock. It was just a round stuff with the letters. You know, how can how simple it was be? Um, but then we looked at that and said, oh, yeah, uh, the, the P, the, at least Vincent looked at the P, the, the head of the P looks like a, a ear of the elephant plus the trump. And then the other P looks like, well, the butt of the elephant. In between, I guess you have to be a designer to turn the H into the full body of the elephant. At least, to me, it makes no sense, right? It's like, yeah, it's not even possible. But he was genius enough to turn that into something that uh, is an elephant. And then after that, the elephant actually took root. I mean, we had the official logo, which was in use, but most of the time, the user groups would go around and uh, use the elephant, either straight from the logo like that, and you know, just the logo, and they put, I don't know, Mauritius, and that, that was it. Uh, or they would make it some, some uh, extension and uh, you know, a redesign logo. That would be an evolution. But then every, every user group would have the elephant as the logo. That was, that was fun, in different ways. So I started pitching the ideas. Probably some of you who were there in 2005 would probably get bugged by me. Um, I, I did that the real the way of the 2005, right? You, you just run into people in real life, like you had to, to have physical contact. I mean, just, just talking to people, right? Um, or, or sending emails, text emails of a few lines um, that, uh, that you know, people have to read. Like, I'm going to do a generation of elephants. Uh, you want to be part of it. it it's, still a, it's still a good reminder of, I mean, it, it's, it's still a, a life. Uh, experience I remember from that because I was at that time I was living in Montreal and my user group my local user group looked at me and say oh you want to do a plush tar with the PHP logo Damien you're crazy it started really like that I mean just, just did not believe me that was that was still my every month uh, meeting place like I would go there they were the, my usual buddies but they would look at me and say no 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 we don't do that um, so sometimes you have to go out of your, you know, short cycle that's just around you and to know what's really happening. And the mails I was sending, there's at least one of them that really struck me uh, in the heart, which was a New Zealand guy who sent me a message like, yeah, okay, I don't want to be, to be, uh, to be uh, add by that, but that might happen, please tell me you're real. And, I, well, given the, the time difference, I was on the spot to, you know, answer immediately. We struck a good conversation. And, and again, very 2005 uh, style, he literally just said, okay, if, if you do one, I will buy a box of 50. 50, that's, that's not too much, right? But that was, that was the promise. I don't have crowdfunding like we have to do now. Uh, they didn't, like, pay for it. There was no invoice or whatever. Just like, yeah, if you do it, I buy a box of 50. And then, <clears throat> at that point, I managed to have five... No, 3,000 of them, 3,000 pre-orders, which by itself is a small number, right? Yeah, that's not impressive, it's like 3,000. Um, so we applied what was the clever idea of the moment. I was running PHP Quebec at that time. It was a, a conference, uh, the same, but in Quebec, obviously. And uh, we noticed that um, the early bird tickets, the tickets that were sold half price, but three months in advance, would be about half of the conference which was an important information for us because we knew three months in advance how many people basically would be there for the actual conference. And I thought, okay, if I have 3,000 order, pre-orders, I will probably have another three or other thousand people buying more after they seen the elephant coming to life. So let's make it double. Yeah. So another lesson I learned from that day is that, uh, you know, numbers do have a reality. Nowadays, you probably sell more like 6,000 stuff. It's, it's a regular stuff, a really good day for you. But at that time, I just didn't realize how, how much it was. If I reached a million, I would say, yeah, that's big. But yeah, 6,000, how much would that be? And then I got an email from the transporter. No, that's not him. Um, I got an email from the transporter. Can we take one of those long trucks in front of your offices? Say no, <laughs> no, 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 we can't. Then I realized that maybe I did order a little bit too much. Um, I still got all my 6,000 elephants, and that basically filled my garage. <laughs> the delivery itself was epic. Uh, you can see there were like those boxes. They were not heavy, but they're still half a meter wide. It's a cube, right? Half a meter, eight by cubic meter. 
and, I, I, and they were five kilograms. They were very light, but it's still pretty cumbersome. So I had one guy in the truck getting the, the boxes, throwing that to me on the other side, on the outside, catch that, and then my wife was another 10 meters inside, and she's like 20 centimeters smaller than me, and I would throw that to her. And the, the poor Canadian trucker was actually trying to get rid of the elephant fast, so he would just throw them very fast, and uh, that, that's, uh, that's not a good memory for my wife. <laughs> and by the way, if you want to have a good way to test your wedding bonds, <laughs> I suggest that 6,000 of elephants is... Uh, is uh, <laughs> The ones that were, on the other hand, very happy were my daughters. Uh, I did bring uh, that day a box of, uh, of elephants upstairs to take pictures. I mean, I was, for a short moment of time, the entire population of elephants were at the same place. So I had to boast about it. Uh, not with Twitter, it did not exist at that time. But I put them there. Um, I, after a few pictures, I had to fetch my daughter from uh, daycare. And when I came back, while I was just cleaning their coats and their, their shoes, I started hearing you know, hearing them going around, giggling and giggling more, and it's like, oh, God, oh gee, I forgot to, to clean the elephants. And yeah, I remember the, the small one coming back to me with two elephants in her hands. I mean, we could probably fit three nowadays, but we're, you know, adults. And then, look, Daddy, what we found? We found elephants! We're going to keep them all! <laughs> My wife was on the other side of the living room saying, no. <laughs> no, no, that's, uh, that's not going to be possible. But yeah, they, they, they started uh, growing with the elephants. That was, that was actually a big change for them, uh, because, well, I was daddy working on the computer. That's a, that's a classic one. And on Thursdays, I would go to PHP Quebec, like leaving mommy for, for the evening alone, for some reason. But now I had, had this little guy. I had this, this little guy, and this little guy meant that I would take him, because, yeah, it's PHP time, and I would bring it with him, with me. So I would tell my daughters, yeah, I'm going to meet with elephant's friends. And that made sense for them. That was, that was giving reality. The computer, that was the screen, you click on the board, that, that makes no sense. But now there's an elephant. They could you know, fight over it, over it, that's one point, of course. Uh, but also, the elephant would go away. And then, so, oh, you're going to see friends. Uh, you have to say hello, you have to eat your grass, you have to behave. They would be extremely motherly with them. And the following day, they would snatch it from my bag and check if he was behaving the, the day before. But that was one of the first moments where the elephant was you know, reaching out uh, beside and beyond the community itself. Of course, the uh, other uh, thing that I was doing was shipping the elephant. Uh, that, was, uh, that was a job by itself. But it did start by um, starting... I did ship boxes of uh, 50 uh, all across the world. Uh, of course, to Europe directly, because my family was still there. North America, I was living there. But there were groups from everywhere, including my good friend from New Zealand, who got that. And then, of course, we started getting pictures uh, of elephants from everywhere in the world. Um, obviously, I'm not going to show you the whole you know, album of pictures that, um, that I've had, but they were coming from everywhere. You will recognize Barcelona. You can see the Death Valley. Um, there are some elephants that went into space. I mean, they went up to 100 kilometers in a, in a weather balloon, so that's... Uh, well, that's as much space as we can do. Um, the last one is actually the Paris City Hall. So it's not that easy to go in it and to get invited by the mayor. And, and that was a little bit of this you know, effect, campaigning effect. The elephant was going everywhere. And, and actually, when I go and say everywhere, I mention the, the, the different continents, but there's, there's actually a, a, a missing one, which is Antarctica. Yes. So, um, yeah, so elephant went to Antarctica. Uh, it started from PHP Barcelona, um, and not just because there is a beer in Brazil called uh, Antarctica. No, it's really Antarctica. And one of the, uh, the organizers had a bunch of elephants. They were giving them away to speakers. I had a long talk with them. I still had 5,000 at home. I don't need an extra elephant, but they still wanted to give me one for some reason. And one of the organizers showed up to me and said, ah, you know, Damien, um, my girlfriend is a marine biologist, which is completely useless for elephant. Um, but she is going on a mission to Antarctica uh, next February. So if she has an elephant, she can bring a picture from there. I say, great, take it and take the picture. And so six months later, or maybe eight months, it took a while for her to come back, I actually got a picture of elephant in Antarctica. 
And you can see, yeah, the, the little, I don't know if it's penguin or, or whatever. Uh, here is another one that's actually a little, bit, uh, a little bit closer. So there is, yeah, there are elephants like onions everywhere in all the continents. Nowadays, um, nowadays we can do a little bit better uh, because, of course, we, um, we have open source intelligence. Uh, we can use that a lot. So you can draw the techniques. If you go on Google Map, I checked all the others. This is the best. But this is the overview. Um, knowing that it's, uh, it's operated by the Spanish army, uh, you can find which branch has a scientific mission in Antarctica. Uh, there is a, a base called Gabriel da Castille, and I will, I will probably get something uh, from, from my Spanish speakers. Um, but there's a, there's, a Gabri there's a base over there, and you can take a look. You, you recognize basically the shore, you can recognize uh, the, the beach, and then the little house. And there are, of course, uh, better pictures, and you can see that the house that we see behind the penguin over there is exactly matching this one. So we probably have like geolocalized exactly the elephant uh, somewhere. Now, at least we have got some kind of proof here. I think it makes sense. The legend starts when the commandante of the scientific base decided to uh, you know, let the scientific go home, and there's always a ceremony where they bid farewell. So the marine biologist went to see the commandante, and then the commandante said, oh, we've seen you taking pictures with uh, this uh, plush toy and say, yeah, we, we stayed away from the birds, we did not mess with them. No, no, it's okay, that, that, that was fine. But uh, you're going away, uh, the elephant stays. I have no proof, but if you, have, if you can help me, I am looking for the lost elephant of the Spanish army in Antarctica. I don't know if you have ties or whatever. I did find the actual mission uh, online. I did send them a picture, uh, a tweet recently, just to see if I could upgrade that, uh, that keynote. The, 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 the tweet got nine views and one like. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know who, but maybe I'll get some more information someday. Um, so after that, I told you the elephant went you know, uh, under the sea level. It, it went to places that do not exist. Okay, uh, this is uh, with the little mermaids. Uh, you've got also Tweety Birds and, uh, and Bugs Bunny. At that point, uh, we had maybe several elephant generations that, are, that were going. Conferences were starting to pick up uh, the, the, them and, and doing them for, for their own, uh, own marketing. And the question arises that what is the actual value of the elephant? Uh, what, why do we need something? I mean, initially it was a logo. It was some kind of a design stunt for user groups. But now that, it's, um, now that it's an actual, you know, I would say living thing, if you can make it uh, a living thing, uh, well, we can use it for sleeping or for, for your daughter. So um, that's one of the papa elephant, the big ones. Uh, they started that big, and then since she slept on it for six months, it's a little bit uh, slimmer nowadays. <laughs> um, so that works for kids. Um, that doesn't work for big programmers. And I have to mention that I've given that presentation several times. This is the first time I have actually the origin of the picture <laughs> in the room. John is here. <laughs> That's the guy sleeping on the elephant. <laughs> Thank you, John. <laughs> uh, but you need to find the value of the elephant. What is the value that we want to hear about? Why? Well, half of the audience maybe never heard about it, but why do you know about the elephant? And that's such a central piece of, of the community. And by value, I don't mean the price which is actually a, a classic question, and that's probably half the work when you decide that you want to do uh, a generation of elephant. Uh, for elephants, there's a price. Um, the production price, if you want to plan uh, a generation of elephant, you can count by the units 15 euros, and that would include everything, the checking, the certification, the customs, the, the shipping to, to, to place the production cost, um, and you also need about 300 of them which means that you start probably with a 5,000 budget if you want to do that. Okay? I've had you know, companies calling me, they wanted to have a short amount of like 50 of them. Uh, no, that's not going to cut it. You need, you need something uh, a little bit more substantial to actually uh, do an elephant. Uh, they, usually, they usually sell from nothing. You can sometimes, although less nowadays, you can get them in conferences, for example. They just give it away or you buy them online. Uh, the worst I've seen was the golden elephant, and it was 500 euros. The official price is the one that we, uh, we usually advertise on the website with the uh, PHP 8, and it's around 40 euros. But again, that's for uh, other you know, user groups who sell them to actually set their own price a little lower. And, and we're talking about price here, but we want to talk about the value. What is the elephant carrying in terms of value? 
Uh, you're pretty lucky in Germany. There's like at least five companies who are doing what who have done Elephant with different stories. Um, the one at where 24 started as a, a, a recruitment stunt. I would probably not go into um, you know uh, in company that just promise you an elephant instead of a, of a salary, of course. But they started with that. That could be an attracting point, and then later it moved actually to the rest to the tech team who really want the elephant. So it kind of uh, did a generation together. Um, others want to spread the name of the company. You see, I have a keynote and I'm showing off some uh, elephant's uh, names. So that's uh, that's a good one. Maybe one day we'll have an IPC con uh, elephant. Where is uh, Sebastian? <laughs> he was not high too hard, <laughs> could not hide. But yeah, carrying the colors of your company, and, and um, that, that's one of them. That's an easy uh, marketing uh, stunt. It has other usage, um, like um, in Dark Mirror, well, they're carrying their name also, but they would sell them to uh, rent buses and drive people toward their own conference. So it's a Brazilian conference. Um, and in Brazil, given the size of country, they have a little problems gathering all the developers in the, in the same place. And then by buying the, the, the elephants, you would actually help them rent buses and drive all those people to one place. So that, that's useful. Uh, Mphis, and Mphis, Mphis. The, the, the rainbow elephant is about diversity. It was used to, uh, um, to uh, sub, uh, subvention it? to help uh, diversity uh, people, diversity in the conferences, that uh, people who have a little bit trouble to, to reach them because of the price of the conference would get uh, a little bit of a subvention. Um, the one we did at Deflexis uh, started also as a stunt for uh, recruitment, that if you had one, then you, if you, you were hired, you would get one. Uh, but also we did to budget a few of them for previous employees, just to keep good ties. You know, you work here, um, we have elephants, yeah, stay with us. It's always nice to keep good relationship with people who have parted ways. You don't always burn bridges uh, when you leave. And also, it was an internal tool to promote the tech department. Everyone had to, you know, they, they heard about it, they, they heard my keynote, uh, they heard jokes, we had the elephant going around. Marketing started to understand that they could ship that to their own customers, get pictures, and, you know, have a very easy marketing campaign where people were contributing directly. So that's, that's basically contribution beyond code. It doesn't have to be uh, just writing code. Closer to me, my, my mother-in-law, for example, still do not know what I do for a living. It's, yeah, I mean, again, like the kids there, I'm behind the computer, right? <clears throat> On the other hand, she has an elephant. It's actually now a ritual. It's now a ritual. Um, I'm going to see them in, for Christmas. We, we're not living in the same country, so not that often. But that would be, uh, I, can, I can do uh, the little scene for you. Is, uh, uh, so, bonjour Damien, yeah, bonjour belle maman, yeah, very polite, we have a good relationship, it's not the, the usual, usual cliche. The second question will be, have you used the mother-in-law joke in your previous conference? <laughs> Which I will probably have to say, yes, <laughs> I did. The third question is, are there new elephants? And I do need to bring them a new elephant every time. And they will jump on that and start looking at it. Oh, this one looks stupid. Oh, the eyes are wrong. Oh, the sewing is bad. Oh, the color. And they will play art expert on the elephant. I tell me everything what's wrong with it. And that, that's, that's a regular routine now. We have that all the time. Um, they do not collect them, uh, but there are places where you can actually collect and show off your herd. There is an elephant world rankings. Literally. Um, so you go there, um, it's free, you, just, uh, you have the full list of the 73 uh, generations of elephants. Uh, you just say, oh, I have these, 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 these. And then by country, you can rank, you can be ranked. You can see also that um, I'm high in the, uh, the top 10, but uh, there's, a, there's a few people who are ahead of me. I think I'm a target. You know, people know that I do have a lot of them, but I don't have all of them, so you can still beat me. I think I use that as an incentive for people to, uh, to, to do more. Um, but initially, it was meant to be an exchange place. So if you have a, a lot of them, and traditionally people, when they spot a, a source of them, they would like buy 10 of them immediately, wait a little bit and start shipping and exchanging that with other people who found another source of elephant. You can, uh, you can have that. Um, so that's bringing the, the, the people together. Um, during COVID time, we used to do family pictures like that. 
And that could be something we could do next year. Um, we do a family picture. Do, uh, maybe you don't bring them with you. I do bring, I have like two bags, half of my suitcase is made of elephant. Um, <laughs> but that's me, okay, uh, that's me. Uh, on the other hand, you probably have pictures uh, at home. You can, you can show off your shelves. I'm pretty sure there's a market for people building shelves to store elephants, because given the number of uh, creative uh, storage I've seen, um, you can do different things, um, and you can do some, something like that. Or another thing that kind of brings the uh, people together is traversable. Traversable is these specific elephants. There's a few of them who have a name because they did some special thing, and this one you will recognize it by the little piercing it has. Probably the only thing that makes it uh, slightly different. But it started, um, I would say, early 19, uh, 2018. It started from uh, my home, uh, in The Hague, and I went to uh, Shopware in Duisburg, and then I actually... Um, where did I go after that? Anyway, I went there, and I found another speaker, and I gave Traversable. So, Traversable is literally the traveling elephant, the one that travels. I gave it to another speaker that I knew over there, along with its own passport. There was a passport uh, with a mention from Trisayel saying, yeah, please let people go, this elephant go around. And the goal was to have this speaker go to another PHP conference and again give the elephant and the, the, the passport to someone else. And again, and again, and again. And I have a little uh, resume of the, of the trip that the elephant did. That was just before, um, just before the, the, the COVID, so that was possible. What you do not see is the last one is in Paris. It actually went after that to Edinburgh, then to Brazil. In Brazil, it made a stop from Brasilia to Sao Paulo, and from Sao Paulo, it went back to Rotterdam. And then COVID hit, so actually the elephant came back to me, and that's how I have it tonight here. But it was something that was bringing us together. It was a story. All the, all the different uh, speakers managed to have their own stamp of approval. And you can see a few of those uh, stamps everywhere. Um, and I would in particular mention this one. You probably need old timers. This is 2009, 19. Oh, no, sorry. That's the next one. Oh. This was Fabian Bors, which I think has been organizing the conference for a long time and is gone. I'm sorry for him. It would, it would have been celebrated tonight. But he's the one who signed uh, when he was, uh, the elephant was uh, four years ago in this present uh, room uh, here. So, in the end, because we're still running out of time, um, the elephant can and is gone everywhere. This is literally the elephant in the White House. We found, a, again, a girlfriend of a community member who had uh, a girlfriend who was a, a photographer for the White House. So she had access to the place, to the press meeting. There was no possibility, of course, to have the president behind that. It probably was a bad idea anyway. It was not the worst of them, but it was probably the second one, so uh, it's better that way. Um, but last keynote I did, one of the attendees came back to me and said, Damien, I think I congratulate myself for the success of the elephant. And I, you can imagine, as a proud father, I was not really appalled by that. But before I started answering, I realized that the success of the elephant is, is not my work on that. That's all the love you've been bringing to this elephant. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for the success of the elephant. Thank you very much. Is there a possibility to get one? If people yes, there's a few one? of them. There's a few of them, so uh, you can talk to me afterward. And also, you got a website. There's a website, I also shared a link, which has all the current shops that are selling elephants. Um, I know, for example, this one, Telia still have some of them online. This one is still, as I said, in Hamburg, so I can't tell you. Shop uh, Kung Fu also have some of them. So if you want some special ones, there are, there are places you can buy online, definitely. Cool. Thank you so much for the great keynote and for this great story, which is, I think, really interesting because uh, over so many years, I really consider the PHP community as maybe one or maybe the only real community because it's totally federated, right? And it continues to live in a federated way. And I think that's a great contribution also to that. Thank you so much. Thank you.